When the Springfield Empowerment Zone partnership came together, it came with the strengths of the district, the strengths of the teachers union, and the strengths of the state, all to bear on this question of, can we do better for the kids within the city of Springfield? And we knew that structurally, things had to change. When the Springfield Empowerment Zone was formed, it was formed from this notion that principals themselves should be able to have far greater discretion over the finances and decisions within their buildings. Working in tandem with the teacher leadership team, that principal has on their shoulders a far greater level of responsibility than you, what you would find in a traditional district where a lot of those decisions about curriculum, about bell schedule, about the length of the day and the length of the year are preset. And in a high accountability model, uh, that means that not every principal is going to make it over time. However, with the proper level of support, with a strong TLT within a school, and with a principal who has that shared vision with the TLT, we think great things can happen. 95% of the teachers just voted to renew their contract for a third time. The teachers in the Springfield Empowerment Zone, I believe, understand that they're getting a really different opportunity here to do what they want to do, help students really thrive and to do it in a way they often have not been able to do, which is to do it with the freedom to make decisions with their principals about what's right for their school. Here in the Springfield Empowerment Zone, people have come together across all of these different stakeholders, the union, the management, the teachers, the principals, the community, the state, all focused on one thing. Can we figure out how to help students get do better faster?